The Diosophy Coloring Book of Goddesses, Spirits, and Ancestors is here. And you can have one. And this is a really global collection of icons. Uh, some of my favorite beauties out of the Suppressed Histories archives. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. Starting with the oldest ones in the collection. And this is from the very ancient period of the Sahara. Very powerful figure, the Lady of Awanrit, and the bird women dancers from ancient Iraq before the Sumerian times open. And we have classic ancient Egyptian art, because I love it so much, including the seven Hathors, the great goddess of Teotihuacan in the plateau of Mexico, just such some of the most beautiful frescoes in the world. And I put a couple of them in there for that reason because they're just, and they're perfect for coloring. Can get no better. And there's some of my art in here also. There's five pieces, including Namu, who is a Sumerian creator goddess of the waters, who I have never found any images of. So I drew her long ago for a tarot deck. And the old goddess Chakchel, or Ischel, with her Tokoyal uh, headdress of the serpent pouring out the waters. And then we've got more water goddesses. There's a whole sequence of them. And this is from Java. When the monsoons come and the water table is full, the water shoots out through her breast into a pool. Can't get better than that. And another pool is the well of Urth, the Norns in the Icelandic Edda. Mami Wata with her serpents. And this is a whole spectrum out of West Africa. Actually, it's gone even broader than that, much of the continent now. And out of Korea, the Dragon Queen riding on her steed of the waters of the sea. And so each of these on the reverse of each image is a description telling you more about whatever I can find on them. Sometimes not very much, sometimes a lot. And uh, where, when, all of that. So there is a learning aspect to this, and especially good for teaching kids. Uh, Bridget, another one of my pieces, surrounded by the oak of her sanctuary with the 19 priestesses. And another fiery goddess is Nanaya, who's known in Tajikistan, parts of Afghanistan, parts of northern India and Pakistan. And another flaming form uh, Kali, the great one, the great wisdom Kali. And Pele, a fiery being deep within the earth and out of old Hawaii. And then we've got the powers of night in several forms. Nux, which means night in ancient Greek, uh, ineffable form. And the queen of the night, this is a modern name because they don't really know, is the Sinana, Erish Kigal, Lilena, Lilith, any of these possibilities, Lamashtu. And so there's a lot of goddesses in here that aren't very well known. And the Permian people, the Udmurt, and other of the Uralic speakers in the far, far eastern corners of what they now border out as Europe, call these beings the mother of nature or the mistress of nature. Oh, here's one I started the color, the beauteous spider grandmother. They found about 36 of these in different regions of the Mississippi Basin, carved into shell. And then in the Tlingit culture, you've got the bear mother portal, and there would have perhaps been other animals in different clans there in Alaska. There's a whole series of bird women. These are water bird women from the ancient Tairona culture in South America. Here's another colored one. Uh, these are some of my favorite griffin goddesses and I kept finding them so I couldn't choose so they're all in there. <laughs> and then there's a series of spirals, goddesses with spirals, so Quan Am in Vietnam and there's others from Eastern Indonesia and Romania and different places. I'm not showing you all of the images here. Giovanna in Poland, this is her over in the left, 
riding on the white stag. She's the midsummer blaze of light. And another wild goddess, Shan Guigu, and the mountain spirit in China, who is always shown riding on or with either a tiger or a leopard and holding the ineffable elixir, perhaps a reishi fungus. So there's lots of wild and untamable goddesses in here. Mariaman in southern India, the Dakinis in Afghanistan when he was when it was still Buddhist. Yellow Tara out of Tibet with her beautiful spiraling aura. The spirals come out all over the place. And then Black Diana. This is in the Roman period, but with much deeper roots in older cultures. And a Black Madonna out of Africa. This is a classic Ethiopian manuscript from the 1400s. Perfect for coloring. And Prajna Paramita, who is the quintessence of wisdom. And I put in here the mantra uh, in Sanskrit um, from the Heart Sutra, which is dedicated to this divine principle of wisdom. So there's lots more. Uh, you, I just gave you a taste of it. You can look at it also on the website, which you can see here. And uh, there's... Uh, the link there that you see, you can follow also to get um, some extras, color pictures of some of the images, both the originals and a couple of my art as well. And so these are available to order now, and both in the United States, and I've now got some international shipping buttons up there also. So um, have a look and get your copy. Please share. Spread the word. This is a benefit for the Suppressed Histories Archives.